Meet Ben. Here's how he went from this to this. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how we did it and how we turned him into a European and Pan American champion in the process. And stick around to the end of the video where Ben's going to be revealing his number one tip for getting such an insane transformation. Let's get started. Nutrition. Listen, I'd love it if we could just eat endless donuts and loads of crap and get insane results. I mean, there is flexible dieting and that works to a certain extent. But unfortunately, for the majority of us we're gonna to have to eat pretty well so where should you start with your nutrition this is the ageless question that everybody asks there's so much information out there that people become confused become overwhelmed and then don't know how to get started well let's change that so we need to start with your calories we need to figure them out so like I said everybody overcomplicates nutrition looking for different ways to lose fat and normally looking at fad diets but let me tell you after coaching a thousand people over the last decade Simplicity is key. So get out a pad and pen because here's what I want you to do. Step one, download MyFitnessPal or some form of calorie tracker. Then spend one week eating exactly like you do right now. Don't make a single change. Track all that food that you've eaten into my fitness pal. Whilst doing this, you're gonna weigh yourself every morning. Then at the end of the week, you're gonna look at the amount of calories you have eaten per day on average. So you'll have seven days worth of data, put them calories together, divide them by seven, and what number do you get? After you've got this information and you've weighed yourself every single day, you're going to see if your weight has gone up, has it gone down, or has it maintained? So if you follow this process, you've got all the information you need in order to lose body fat effectively. So let's break this down. We'll use the example that you weighed yourself every day, you were exactly the same every day, and your weight stayed the same. We could say your calories averaged at 2,900 per day. So therefore, we know that you're maintaining weight on 2,900 per day. To get the ball rolling, I want you to take away 500 calories from that 2,900. So this leaves us with 2,400 calories, and I want you to eat 30% of them calories from protein. So if we did the maths, that would equal 180 grams of protein per day. After this, you're gonna fill out the remaining 70% of your calories from carbs and fats. And it's that simple. That is your nutrition done. Now you're probably thinking, what happens if I stall? Good question. Metabolically, you're going to adapt and catch up to this calorie intake. And at some point, you're gonna to have to remove calories even further. I'd recommend small 200 calorie drops every single time that your weight stalls, as long as you've been consistent. And of course, as long as other variables aren't affecting that weight loss, such as stress, inflammation, and illness. Now let's move on to training. If you watched my last video, you'd know that an upper lower split is probably the training split that you should be doing. I'm not going to be going into the ins and outs of why you should be doing that training split. If you want to know why and the science behind it, watch my last video. So get ready to screenshot as I'm giving you a full training program on screen for the next minute or so. On Monday, we're going to start with upper body and you're going to break it down like this. You're going to start with a form of chest press, then move into a chest fly, into some form of shoulder press, dumbbell, Smith machine plate loaded it doesn't matter into a side lateral raise it could be cable or dumbbell into a chest supported row bicep curl and a tricep extension on Tuesday you're going to train legs for this you're going to be starting off with leg extension moving into some form of hamstring curl seated or lying then you're going to perform a squat pattern it could be a hack squat a pendulum squat a barbell squat then into a unilateral it could be a Bulgarian split squat and then the adductor machine on Wednesday you're going to rest the research shows that 48 to 72 hours is is the amount of recovery that you need in order to train and optimize muscle growth. So on Thursday, that leads us to training upper body again, and this is our second rotation for upper body. So exercise number one, lat pull downs, moving into T-bar rows, moving into a seated cable row, and then some form of machine chest press into dips. It could be body weight, weighted or machine dips, into a side lateral raise, and then bicep curl, and then tricep extension. On Friday is our second rotation of legs. So this time we're starting off with a hamstring, with a hamstring curl, into some form of leg extension. It could be unilateral this time, then into your leg press of choice or what you have available into another unilateral leg movement for this i've picked the front foot elevated split squat and then we're doing the opposite this time and finishing with abduction and that is your training done it is as simple as that if you follow that upper lower training split i guarantee it will work so that leads us into this final part of this blueprint which is output so your output being your natural movement or steps along with cardio i want you to plug in 30 minute training sessions of moderate intensity two times per week. Just make sure that when you do this cardio, it isn't high intensity as we're looking to burn calories 
and not impact recovery. For your steps, do we hit the magic 10,000? No, not necessarily. This is all very individual. So what's your starting point? If you're currently sat down at work all day and you're doing around 4,000 steps per day, let's increase this number by 2,000. This means that when progress stalls, you still have plenty of room to push this number up and play around with more and more steps. If you went from 4,000 to 10,000, then you've got to go to 12,000 to 14,000 rather than take these smaller 2,000 jumps and 1,000 jumps that gives you more progress over time. We should always aim for small changes with our nutrition and our output. Big changes are too difficult to stick to long term and might cause your hunger to spike too much and we need to stay away from this. In my experience this is the recipe for disaster and the main reason why the majority of people do not get the physique that they want. So I promise you, this is my exact blueprint for how I get results with my clients. If you follow this exactly how I said, there is no doubt that you will build the physique that you have been dreaming of. So before we finish off, let's hear from Ben and see what his number one tip is for getting such an insane physique transformation. So there it is, my exact blueprint for an insane physique transformation. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and maybe leaving a like on the video. The channel is growing pretty well at the moment. It'd be great to see that continue. So thanks for getting this far. Thanks for the support and I'll see you in the next video.